Welcome to the value ads. Let's go and have a play with Microsoft 365 Copilot. We're going to do it in Word within this video. We're going to do a bit of a hands on, see what it looks like, see what it does. Um, if there are some prompts that you want to be able to uh, see and want me to be able to go up and try and see what it does, please leave a comment below. Subscribe so you can actually uh, see notifications around when I release kind of a part two, a part three. I want to keep going. And playing with this kind of technology certainly as it grows and becomes a more valuable and a maturer product but at the same time um what else can we actually do with it give me some ideas so do like subscribe comment with the probes that you want but let's get started So I've opened up a brand new Word document. You can see one or two things on the page already for Copilot. I've got this Copilot icon here and I can click on this and it opens up this draft with Copilot. But also at the same time, over here on the top right hand corner, I've got the Copilot icon. It says open Copilot. So let's have a look, see what it opens up. And you can see this panel on this right hand side. I can chat, respond to your questions and help you with writing and summarizing the document, here are some things you can try. So write about, and if I click on that, you'll see that it actually puts some text towards the bottom and I can tell Copilot what to go and write and it puts it into the main body of text. Now, before I do that, this is the first time we've actually uh, demonstrated this in a video. So just to point out, this is our send button. We go off and tell Copilot to do stuff. We can actually record stuff. I think this is really good. So what certainly helps people from a sustainability and a diversity kind of side of things that actually we can use a microphone to be able to talk into these things. And then also we've got this ability to be able to do a view prompts. So this prompts here, you can kind of see we've got two categories inside of Word. We do get more in, inside of other applications and I can click on create. And we've got, as you can kind of see here, a whole bunch of different things that we can go off and tell it to write a proposal, add a paragraph, um, write an introductory paragraph to this document and make it sound like a professional. Probably something I need a bit more help with. Um, we'll go into that more prompts in a minute. Uh, we've also got it to, and we can ask it to help you with Copilot. How can I use it? What's a good way of being able to use this? And how do I, let me go off and do that. We're going to view more prompts in a minute, but let's just say, how can I, how can Copilot help me? And you kind of see, we get this instant response. I can save you time and boost your creativity in several ways, including drafting text for your outbox, outline or ideas, rewrite your text for alternative phrases, or to change the tone, or summarize or answer questions about content in this document. So I've actually got a plain document here, so it's going to be a bit difficult. But just to show you, we've also got this view more prompts, and this opens up, as you will notice here, it says Copilot Labs. And I can actually start looking at the different prompts that I've got in here that I can actually go off and we can use. So as you can see, look up recipes, show me a birthday cake recipe with dairy alternatives. So let's maybe just say that one and tell that to run. So we obviously put you get both at that business side and a bit more of the consumer side of things. And what this does is this kind of builds more of this text down the right hand side rather than directly into the document. So that's something to bear in mind is that when we ask it to do something there on the right hand side, it is going to give us the output there. We can click on our copy. I can actually then go off and paste that into the document should we want to be able to do so. So I don't think it's going to go off and do that. It's actually done it on here. You can kind of see um, it's kind of saying, as you see, we ask it to make sure it was dairy free. And it's actually given us a one cup of dairy free milk and given us that alternatives of almond soy or oat milk. So nice little thing on here. Interestingly, me being in the UK, I've got spell checker enabled for UK English. And it's actually we have center spelled the other way around. So you can kind of see why it's actually asking me to change that. Favorite's got a U in it from our perspective. So it's giving me my output in US English uh, from that kind of side of things. So it's useful and um, it kind of gives us information, but I want to start building up some text inside this document and we'll do that in a minute. What I've done here is I've taken an existing document. It's uh, 45 pages long. It was actually a PDF. I've downloaded it from the UK government and the uh, Department for Education in England around some, as you can see here, keeping children safe in education. So a very kind of business centric document. 
um, I converted from a PDF into a Word document. You can kind of see that it's in this kind of view state. If I go to my home, uh, Copilot is actually grayed out because I have to be in that edit mode to be able to actually do anything with Copilot. So if I go to enable editing, it's just saying, look, it's in PDF. That's fine. I want it to convert it. And I can go off and I can start editing this document. So it is got a summary um, as part of all these different things. You can kind of see I've now got Copilot here on this right hand side. Let's click on this. And now, actually, I do want it to go off and do a summarization of this document. Now, this is a fairly big document. So I'm saying it's 45 pages long. We've got thousands of words in it. I don't expect Copilot to be able to go off and just go, yep, yeah, know that information. I've sent it to the cloud, got a response straight back and been able to do it. I've not seen a single AI that's going to go off and do so much text. It's got 14,000 words in this document to be able to then just give us a response instantly. I strongly believe this will grow over time, but certainly um, it's working. It's given us kind of information as it works through the document, which I really like. I like the fact that it doesn't just go, you know what, hit bang, here's everything, but we take waited longer for it. I can actually go and see this information and it kind of telling me that it's still going, it's almost there. So here we go, we can kind of see the purpose of this document, the scope of the document. I love this referenceability again so important where did you get this information from i get a hover over from it i can also click on it and it tells me there you go i don't know if you spotted it being highlighted but it highlighted this bit of information so it actually starts to build this out and i can see all the references that was actually got from this document and i can click on it and it gives us that information that is here and where it's actually find that bit of text for us to be able to help and build this summary so it's really impressive from my kind of point of view um, expand on the main points in the summary or make the summary longer so we can actually feed you more if you don't feel like you've got enough from here make this summary longer let's actually expand on the main points in this summary and see what it kind of brings out I don't want to actually speed this video up I want you to see this in real time this is new technology I appreciate you may well leave comments in here saying oh it's a bit slow or that just remember this is brand new technology this is generative AI this can only get faster and it will get faster over time so you can kind of see it's expanding on these points even further that's what we did it's spending more time computing and processing this data that we've got we know it's in a trusted environment with it being at microsoft so we're in the safe hands from that kind of point of view but here we go a lot more information in there referencing child acts still got that referenceability that's in there certainly a lot longer than that first side of things that we actually saw and again it's giving it a bit more information in here make this summary more casual nice like kind of soft language used to make it shorter maybe or make the summary longer so really useful really informational being able to get this and actually summarize it should i want to be able to do so um but i want to ask it a particular question and i want to ask it um around what what does it actually do if um, I am the designated safeguard I need, I can see it mentioned here as part of it. So I'm going to say, can you give me a set of actions as the DSL that I need to take from this document? So let's see how well this actually understands this document. Be able to take it. The saying, I'm, I'm feeling it a fairly big document. To, to play with the first time we're actually going to be putting this up on uh, the value add and um, I expect it to take some time so let's see what it comes back with here you go as a designated safeguarding lead so it's pulled that information out just because I said DSL these are the things to be prepared for should take the following actions according to the document I'd love to be able to go up and actually just be able to keep it where I was so while it still generates that information it's not making me jump up and down Provide support to staff to carry out their safeguarding duties and lays closely with other services. So it's, so it's not giving me maybe the comprehensive lift, list. I need to make sure that I actually understand this whole document, but it's certainly giving me a good place to be able to go. The interesting thing is be aware of the local procedures for making a prevent referral. So actually it's referring to some of these issues or certain sense training that you may well need around prevent, which is a big thing inside the education space and keeping our students safe. In the same kind of way and it's given me all those different areas that we should go go off and do 
also providing me a bit more kind of information here. What is the role of the DSL and what is the prevent duty? Let's do what is the prevent duty just to see what it kind of comes up. And then we'll go and actually create some text inside of Copilot with inside of Word. So what is the prevent duty? Let's see if it pulls out this information. As I was saying, just want to, I want to let it kind of build this out itself. So according to the document, it looks like it's not actually gone through. Let's try it one more time just to see what happens. As I said, this is kind of new technology. It's not going to work straight away. Still working on it. Hopefully it's going to go off to this time. It's not too sure about it this time. So maybe that's not. Let's just try this. What, this. what is the role of the designated safeguarding lead? Let's see what it comes back with this one. Hopefully it doesn't say according to the document the. Let's see if it brings a bit more out. Pulling things together. Still working on it. I can always stop it, of course, if I wanted to. Uh, there you go. Kind of bringing that information out, building it out as part of things. So the designated safeguard is responsible for providing support to to staff to carry out their safeguarding duties and liaising closely with other services such as local authority and children's social care. So it's great. It's kind of coming through. It's a shame it didn't kind of pull through the, the prevent duty. Maybe there's not enough in the document. I don't know the document well enough to be able to understand these things, but um, it's certainly great to be able to see it. And I'm really impressed by the, the word copilot that is here. So I've created a new Word document, as you can see here, uh, a new blank file. I'm not going to open copilot on the right hand side this time, uh, but I can click on this uh, draft with copilot. You can also see that it says there Alt I. So I'm going to press on this. You can see, or on my keyboard here, I'm just going to press the Alt and I, and you can see it loads exactly the same thing. So we saw some prompt examples that it could do earlier on. So I'm going to say, can you write me a business proposal for a marketing company who want to specialize in the environment? So let's generate this and see what it starts pulling t things together, as it says here. Great, got text coming through fairly quickly. This is great, probably the quickest I've seen. Summer Copilot. We've got an executive summary. We've got some marketing opportunity, so it's giving us where it is. So it says here the global green marketing uh, market size was a value of 3.36 billion in 2019. It's grown by 14% based on 2027 it's also told us where it's pulling that information from which is the grand review research you can just see here i think that's really impressive that it's actually giving us that referenceability it's not just telling us information it's telling us where it's bought it from and all of a sudden we finished we've got three pages here all together um proposal and next steps um if what we need to spend around marketing research what we might want to do in market month one to six next steps conclusion um, and then you can kind of see here copilot's now jumped to the bottom where i can actually turn around and i can say keep it that's great i love that i love the way that it's actually just gone off and it's just built this within seconds and it's given me a really good outline of a document as part of these things i'm going to click on copilot up here in the top right hand corner and i'm going to say i'm going to ask it to summarize the actual text that it's just written for me and see what it comes back with so it's scanning the document, it's 1,254 words. So hopefully a little bit quicker than we saw with that document that was 45 pages. There you go, stuff already coming through. What is green marketing? Green marketing is the practice of promoting products or services that are environmentally friendly or have a positive social impact. Where's it got that from in the document? The first line. So it's kind of gone off, understood the text and kind of given us a bit more as part of this. I'm also going to ask it to actually write this up as an email just to see what happens. So can you write me an email to Dave around this new business proposal? 
I want to see what it says, what it does. So it's working on a response as it says there, looking things over. We know it's not going to put the text directly into the Word document. This Copilot panel on the right hand side is just a way of summarizing it and building text within this area. Dear Dave, I hope this email finds you well. I wanted to share with you an existing new business opportunity. The company offers a range of services and it's telling us all that referenceability that it's using to be able to pull things through. They, um, just to read this out, they have proven track record of delivering successful green market campaigns for various industries such as renewable energy, organic food, sustainable fashion and green tourism. And you can kind of see where it's pulled all this information from. Now, of course, we asked it to actually write this as a draft and we should always go and check and alter information like this before necessarily anything else. But it's really interesting to see how actually it's summarized and built this email for me. I can then copy that and I can go off and take that off wherever I want it to be able to do so. Really impressed. I hope you like this video and having a look and this first look into Word and Copilot is saying this is part of that Microsoft 365 Copilot license and we have lots of things that are integrated in this and we will spend more time looking into these things and what you can do with Word, PowerPoint, Excel uh, and that whole product stack that comes with that Microsoft 365 Copilot. If you've got any prompts that you want to be able to send over to me, please do put them in the comments, vote up others people, I can prioritize those ones. Uh, but until then, please do like and subscribe and I will see you soon on the value add.